Okay, um, so what do producers need to know? Uh, as you know, the ministry is working on a batteries regulation and electronics regulation. Um, if you're a producer, you're going to have a performance target uh, that you're going to have to meet uh, based on what you supply into the Ontario market. Um, so what will you need to know? You'll need to continue or develop a system to determine uh, what you supply in Ontario. And, and I say continue because in existing programs, um, a lot of stewards are already reporting that in and already know how to track it and how to report it. Um, but if there's producers who haven't been doing that uh, in, in the current program, then producers will have to figure out exactly how to do that because they're going to have to do that on an annual basis. What, what did you supply into the Ontario marketplace? And this supports the, uh, the reporting requirement, and then it leads to um, the collection targets or the performance management targets that you have to, uh, to meet. Um, I think you have to carefully consider how, uh, what your options are in this competitive marketplace, because um, as, as Charles said, the individual responsibility remains with you. You remain legally accountable for, uh, for the responsibility that you have as a producer. You can't contract out of it. Um, you can't write a check to uh, stewardship organization and, and then leave it to the stewardship organization to, to uh, worry about compliance. You still have to worry about compliance. So that means that there's important due diligence requirements that you have to consider when you enter into contracts. Um, am I going to manage my own obligation? Um, am I going to contract with a pro? Am I going to uh, work with individual service providers? Um, how am I going to meet the uh, collection system requirements that uh, make sure that uh, consumers in Ontario have the ability to return products uh, no matter where they live in Ontario? How does that all work? And, um, and uh, if you're going to be my service provider, how are you going to make that work for me? Because I need this to work. I don't want to get in trouble with the, with the, uh, with the registrar. So carefully consider your options, carefully consider the contractual obligations that, uh, um, that, that you want to impose on your service providers and uh, um, in, to, in order to meet your legal uh, um, obligations under the, under the regulation. What do pros need to know? Um, so the producer obligation is met through contractual arrangements. Uh, so pros who are coming into this world for the first time, they need to understand what the producer's regulatory obligation actually is. They need to understand how that's actually getting implemented by the regulator. So it's not enough just to read the reg and then go out to the marketplace saying, I can do all this for you. Um, it's important to understand how the reg actually works. And so you need to understand from the regulator. And we're going to support that process. We'll, we'll help with compliance bulletins. We'll help with, with uh, workshops like this. We'll have webinars. We'll do everything we can to make sure that, uh, um, that, that this works. Um, who do I need to contract with in order to uh, meet my contractual obligations to my producer customers? As you can see in this graphic, it's, uh, there's, there's contractual arrangements that can be made in three different ways, and uh, you have to figure out what works to make sure that you can meet your producer um, responsibility. What do service providers need to know? First of all, you need to be registered um, because that gives you a number that allows you to be part of a system that's going to track the movement of material through the uh, resource recovery uh, um, supply chain. Um, you need to understand what the tracking requirements are. One of the transition issues with tires was people were always struggling with, why do I have to do this? Um, why do I have to register? Why, I'm just a collector. Like, why can't people just take my tires? The tires need to be... Um, tracked from where they were collected to where they ended up. And so you have to be part of that system. You have to contribute to the tracking of those tires. And this applies across all of the categories. Talk to the regulator. Um, if you have questions and you don't understand how something might work or you want to know how it's supposed to work, we want to talk to you and we want to make sure that people truly understand how that regulation will work in practice. <laughs> 